Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. As I look down at the clock, it says 111. Some of you guys could be seeing that number synchronicity a lot. Some of you guys could be seeing the number synchronicity 1111 a lot. Um, so I just found that very cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. We are doing the person on your mind reading, okay? And it is all about whoever you're thinking of. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all that stuff's in the description box below for you. I do have three question recorded video readings for 2222 right now. And everything that you'll need to know is on the community page for you as well. My email's in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and take a look, Taurus, and see what is going on for you guys. All right, Taurus, the person on your mind. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. If you hear any weird screeching in the background, my son is playing Fortnite and I don't know if you guys have kids that play Fortnite, but it's a very serious deal apparently. Uh, so if you hear any, you know, yells or screeches, don't mind. We have the Three of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck for their general overall energy. Man, there's a lot of energy here. A lot of intense energy here. You know, they say that Scorpios have a lot of the intense energy, and I do find that Scorpio readings are very intense. But I'll be honest, uh, Taurus, your readings can get kind of intense as well. The energy just feels very, uh, very strong for you guys. So the Ten of Cups is their overall energy. And you got two tens here. So it definitely feels like something is coming to completion or fruition. I'm actually not sure how I feel about this. Taurus, I kind of feel like there's somebody here that could be getting ready to reach out and have a conversation with you. I don't feel like they have good intentions, okay? I really don't. Um, we have that, We have, and, and this could have to do with something with their family for some of you guys. It doesn't have to for all of you, but there definitely could be family involved for some of you guys. Um, but with the High Priestess here, I definitely feel like there is something that this person is hiding, and I feel like it's their true intentions. I'm just going to be very honest with you. Um, we have the Queen of Swords here. Somebody's wanting to come in and have a conversation, but I don't feel like they're telling you everything. Now we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this person is somebody who is, one, moving back towards you, coming out of the cold from you. I do feel like this is somebody who has is struggling financially okay or with like a living situation there is definitely something that this person is really struggling with and i feel like that's part of the reason why they're moving back towards you here okay and they're not telling you that right away now some of you guys could live at a distance from this person but you don't have to i definitely feel like something is going on with them here like they could have to move right away we got the chariot to the tower there could be something with their family like they're needing to go see family right away or move family here or there could be something with a vehicle. Like there's just something going on, okay? And it is, they're experiencing some kind of tower moment and it's definitely hitting them, you know, in some kind of big financial way. Now, I do feel like somebody could be coming back towards you and they're telling you that they're, you know, wanting to reconnect here with this ton of cups and this ton of pentacles, you know, that they see the value, you know, they weren't seeing things before. Like I definitely feel like somebody's laying it on pretty thick here with this energy. And I feel like the problem is that this person has really hurt you in the past. Some of you have already felt or wondered or questioned whether this person in the past has been like used you. Okay. Um, or if they really felt the same way that you did. Some of you guys already had these kind of like questions in the past. Um, but I definitely feel like this person really hurt you in the past. Okay. Even here, we have the six of pentacles in their heart space. I definitely feel like there's something here that they're wanting from you. Like they're wanting you to help them with something here. This person could have been very unequal give and take in the past where maybe you gave a lot to this person in the past. Maybe you guys already helped this person out a lot financially or, you know, did a lot for them or something of that nature. I already feel like there is like an imbalance um, to begin with. And 
this person is showing up with this eight of pentacles energy like wanting to work on things here giving you a lot of attention like making you their whole everything like they're putting all investing all their time effort and energy into you all of the sudden they're wanting to work on this connection all of the sudden coming out of the cold all of a sudden with you telling you that they really see their the value or that they want to have something long term with you here they could be telling you that they want to build a family with you or you know move in together like i just feel like somebody's like really trying to sell you a dream here when in their heart they really just want something from you and i'm sorry to have to say that taurus because you guys definitely don't deserve that um but some of you guys this is definitely like a warning confirmation reading because i feel like some of you guys already kind of questioned if that's what this was in the past um and this is definitely a confirmation to be careful moving forward okay because you are in a really good space and this person sees that they see you as the king of pentacles which is your energy right so somebody who's very like financially stable and secure, who has, you know, more than enough to help out. Um, even if you don't, they see you that way, okay? And then we have the Seven of Swords as the outcome. So you have the Seven of Swords here and the Three of Swords making the Ten. It's definitely some kind of betrayal. I do feel like somebody, as soon as they got what they needed from you, with that energy making that Ten of Swords, I definitely feel like somebody would leave just like they did in the past, Taurus. Um as soon as they kind of got what they wanted here. We got the seven of swords can be again, a trickery, theft, deception, sneaky behavior. Like I said, with this high priestess here, not telling you their true intentions. So I would definitely be careful with this. Okay. Now the signs that I'm seeing for you guys, I see Pisces. Yeah. I got a lot of Pisces energy here. I also see Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Aquarius, I feel Leo energy for some of you, but I don't see it. Um, but those are the signs I'm seeing. Now, just because I didn't mention a specific sign does not mean the reading cannot resonate. It absolutely still can resonate even if I didn't mention their sign. Um, it is a general reading. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling personal readings, Patreon, the tarot course, all that stuff's in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.